Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this session. And here we are going to code for counting the length of any given string or any string without using any inbuilt function like str alien, right? So what we can do, we just need to create first uh, the string, let's say my string is of type character. The name of my string is let's say string, it is the name of my string. It can be anything, you can put str, whatever, let's say str. And thereafter, I am going to put some is characters into it. So uh, let's try to put some characters here. And this character string should have, let's say, uh, let's say what can be, okay, P R O F E double -S, S O R Professor Rahul Jain, right? Okay. And let's say int i, one more integer variable. Now, what we can use, we can just use simple concept of for loop. And this for loop is going to uh, you know, three part it is having the first part is called as uh, initialization for i it was to zero and uh, till what condition we need to check. So, s of uh, i till s of i does not equals to null till s of i does not equals to null, right? Till that point, we need to uh, we need to check it and uh, plus plus i so and thereafter i am putting semicolon so it, uh, very clearly you should observe that uh, i have put here semicolon because what i am going to do uh, one by one it is going to compare the indexing position if it is not null the value of i will be incremented by one thereafter this indexing again it is not null thereafter this indexing again it is not null again it is not null and it is going to count each and every character like that. Thereafter, this is space. So don't get confused. It is a blank space. And blank space is having a sky value of 32. 32 is a sky value of blank space. It is not a null. It is a blank space. Right? So it is also going to be counted. And uh, we can see that in our output as well. Right? Okay. Now, I am just using the simple printf uh, function here. And inside printf, I'm just writing length of the string is person D because it is going to print some integer value that that much length is there, right? And that is nothing but the value of I. When it would be at the last position, the next memory blocks would be empty. That is null. It's going to stop there and the final value of I, we are going to fetch it as a result of the answer L E N G T S right so let's me try to run it and let's see the output right so here we need to put some uh, okay s i undeclared so okay it is not s i it is s t r the name of a string right it is s t r correct okay null we need to put it null correct so just a second we are just debugging it and till I just put forward slash, right? We need to put it backward slash. Okay, run it. And you can see the length of the string is 20. The length of the string is 20. It is our output. You can count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, blank is space 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Thereafter, blank is space 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, right? So blank space also counted between these strings and the correct length of this given string is 20. I hope the program is very easy, very simple without using string length operation. Also, you can just do it into two lines, right? I hope the concept is clear for that. If any doubt, any query, please feel free to ask. Thank you so much. Stay tuned with us. Don't forget to subscribe, like the hit button. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.